Hello, I'm Zoran and this is a screencast about NetBeans UML plugin that we are developing in Open Source Software Development Center at University of Belgrade. In this screencast I will show you all the development preview of this tool and we'll have a quick look at it, its design and source code. Note that the full source code of this tool is available on its project page at JavaNet, so you can get it to try it for yourself. Here we have a palette with basic class diagram objects. Um, which is class interface and enums and for example let's create a design of the class diagram tool itself we have class diagram we have um, we have class di diagram component and um, here we have class component uh, interface component and any component. Now let's create some relations. To create relation, we use control and drag, and we don't want is relation. So these class diagram, interface, interface component and enum component are all a kind of class diagram components. Next, let's create has relation where we say that class diagram contains several class diagram components. If we take if we take a look at the source code here, here we see class diagram, we have name components and relation. Also we have method add component and add relation. And also remove component and remove relation. So we can add this here name and add field components and add field relations and also and add method add And add method and relation. So you can see how easy it is to create class diagram, add classes, add methods, fields, and create relation between classes. Here we have explorer view where we can see uh, all the fields and methods of the classes, and we have a project window where we can add more diagrams. Uh, we have created this tool using Visual Library API, which is a very powerful Java library for creating visual tools. And um, note that uh, this design is completely based on Java Reflection API, so code generation should be very easy. So here is the, for example, code generator module. We have interface code generator, which has just one method to generate code. And then we have class code generator, which should generate code for classes. And the uh, class diagram code generator should just iterate through class diagram components and generate code for each component. So we expect to have a preview release of this tool till the end of uh, summer, and uh, then we'll be open for your suggestions. That's it for this brief overview. See you soon after the release. Bye.